have a peppermint patty video on my channel but when I saw these on Pinterest I knew I had to give them a try they have a little rainbow inside of each one starting off with a large bowl and two and a half cups of powdered sugar also known as icing sugar or confectioner sugar to that add one and a half tablespoons of light corn syrup one and a half tablespoons of water and one and a half tablespoons of vegetable shortening please see the description box for suggestions for substitutions for these ingredients now for the flavoring, I added half of a teaspoon of peppermint extract. However, you could use orange extract or almond extract if you wanted something a little bit different. Then blend it together by hand or with an electric mixer. What you'll end up with is something that looks crumbly, but when you bring it together with your hands, it forms a nice, soft, and very pliable dough. I cut the dough into six equal portions because each portion will have a different color associated to it and I put them into little bowls. Then I used a little bit of gel food coloring and I colored each portion with a different color. I started off blending it in with a spoon, but then it became more practical and a lot easier just to knead the dough between your fingers. You might get a little bit of food coloring on your hands, but that's not the end of the world. And it does resemble Play-Doh a lot when you're making this. So I did the same thing for each of the colors until I had all six colors of the rainbow. Then you place the dough onto some parchment paper, cover it with another piece of parchment paper, and then roll it out to about one eighth of an inch thickness. When you have that done, you can put another color on top of it, another piece of parchment, and then roll that color out so that it's the same shape and the same size as the one underneath it. And what you'll end up is a stack of parchment and dough. Put that stack into the refrigerator for at least an hour. And that's way they'll be nice and chilled. When you remove them, you'll be able to peel off that parchment paper very easily. If the parchment paper is sticking too much, they haven't been refrigerated enough. So then I remove the parchment paper from between the layers, allowing them to all stick together. So you have a big stack of colors here. This was part was an experiment. I took a circle cookie cutter and cut out one peppermint patty. But when I pulled, pushed it out of the cookie cutter, I realized that it made a very pretty rainbow, but that it was way too big, too big of a portion, too thick. So I used a rolling pin and I rolled out that stack of dough a little bit thinner and a little bit larger. And then I tried the same process with the cookie cutter and I found it made a more manageable size of peppermint patty because they're very sweet and very intensely peppermint. It's better to have thinner patties. And then I continue to cut out the circles and I put each of those little circle patties onto a cookie sheet and I put them in the freezer. You want to freeze them solid. It takes about two or three hours or so. And for the scraps, I just rolled them up together and made this log shape. I wrapped the log shape up in some parchment paper and I put that in the freezer. So after everything is frozen, you can remove that log shape and you can slice it with a sharp knife. And the ones on the cookie sheet, you don't have to do anything with. They are ready to dip into some chocolate. I used candy melts here, but you can use regular chocolate. Just dump in the peppermint patty, turn to coat, remove it from the chocolate, allow the excess to drip off. And I usually scrape it along the edge of the bowl to get the any big drips of chocolate on the bottom. And then I placed it on a cookie sheet that's lined with a silicone mat, but you could also put it on one lined with wax paper or parchment paper. If you're wondering about this high-tech device that I'm using to dip the candy, it's actually just a plastic fork that's had the two middle tines broken off. Very simple and very effective. And then refrigerate these until they are firm. These taste a lot like the commercially made peppermint patties that you can get at the store, like the York peppermint patties. They're very good and, and you really only need to eat one or two because they're so intensely sweet. And here are the ones made with the scraps. Those turned out pretty well too. Now another option you have is that instead of using a cookie cutter to cut out the patties, you can roll up that stacked layer of dough colors. You can roll it up like a jelly roll and then freeze it and then slice it. So the rainbow won't be, have nice straight horizontal lines, but they'll still be quite good. If you're looking for more 
food that contain rainbows, please check out my rainbow food playlist by clicking on your screen or looking for the link in the description box. Thank you for watching and as always, thumbs up make me happy.